Hello everybody, this is Victor with BriefMobile.com and we're just looking over real quick um, Pantex breakout for, for Verizon. It's a 4G LTE phone and in this video we're just going to be looking at the um, software behind, behind the phone. Pantex has released its own um, Android like skin and it's running in gingerbread. As you can see um, the lock screen is completely different uh, offering nice little shortcuts here on, on, on the bottom for example to unlock it you just have to drag it and it automatically unlocks for sound you do the same thing and then it's in, vi in vibration mode and then you have a full sound if you want to check out your text message you just quickly just drag it and it goes right to the text message screen same thing for um, for emails it's gonna go into Pantex email um, app, okay? Personally, I don't use it. I just use Gmail by itself. And the same thing for the phone. A cool thing about the phone app that Pantex um, has has shipped with this phone is that um, if you click on the arrow, the last few phone calls that you made appear. A nice little feature right there. You also have a speed dial. Just add your favorite your favorite um, contacts, and then you just cl click on it, and then you know you can ha actually have them on speed dial, which is a nice little feature. Now back to the home screen, as you can see, Pantech has its own set of widgets that allow you to customize it. At first, I, I thought the colors looked a bit um, cartoonish, but then uh, I guess you get used to it. One interesting highlight that I mentioned in the in the review, if you click on any of these uh, any of these little buttons, a 3D, hold on, a 3D carousel appears, allowing you to um, look through your through your home screen. So I thought that was pretty cool. You can also achieve the same the same effect by just, oh no, that's the other, that's a sense. You get like a little sense preview by doing the pinch zoom. Okay. Now if you do the opposite, there you go, you get the carousel, okay? It's pretty nice. Um, what's different else, um, well you have these constant um, apps here on the bottom which you can customize by going into the apps. You see how this reminds me of, of TouchWiz, Samsung's, um, usually that's what Samsung ships on their Galaxy line. Now like I said in the review, yeah there's a bunch of um, Blowware, as it's called, that you really can't erase, but you can at least hide them. You go to edit, and then right here in the hide, you just drag and drop, drag and drop. For example, let's see, Blockbuster. Let's do it. There. And then you, you just you hide it like that. So technically, it's not, you didn't erase it, but at least you know you, you hid it from, from you. But I, I like the the app drawer too. It's pretty cool. And from here, you can also um, navigate and and change the the apps on the bottom on your quick access bar. For so, for example, if I want to have Google Plus instead of Contacts, there, and that's it. So it's a nice little feature. All in all, and of course, th there's a bunch of different widgets that they shipped it with. I like this one, the contact widget. You click on it, and they come up like cards. Then, of course, then you, you can add different people, and then they'll be on your, they'll appear on the widgets, so the people that you usually have communications with. Which is a nice feature, to say the least. And actually, if you bring, let's, let's bring back acting up hold on I know if you bring it back eventually he could, there you go come on there you go and you just click on it and you have different things that you can do miss calls your messages or new email so it's a nice feature um, definitely based on and communication 
and there's a bunch of different widgets that the pants can include with them. So it's a very nice, um, very nice skin that they applied to the gingerbread Android version. So definitely um, give it a try.